Hi, welcome to 50 feet below. Today we're reviewing the Hydros Pro by Scuba Pro. Um, this PC actually has a nice feature which makes it possible to use it both in your local dive site and take it abroad. So let's dive in. With a price point over $800, you can safely say this is one of the more expensive PCDs out there. And when you look at it, you can, it, it shows. It's really well built, everything feels solid, and you can see that a lot of work has gone into making this BC. The bladder is fitted on the back, which makes it a wing design. Um, the capacity, lift capacity is around 180 Newton, and it goes for most sizes, except if you take a small or the two smallest one of the lady version, then your lift capacity drops down to around 150 Newton and this isn't really that bad because you're smaller and don't take as much weight as you do when you're bigger. Some divers find it hard to deflate a wing and the air has the freedom to move inside of the wing and this makes that you have to be upright completely if you want to use the inflator or you, you need to use the back dump valve. Um, Scuba Pro actually found a way to ensure that the air is always near our release and they did it by making bungees all along the side. Um, this makes it easier to release the air and I'm sure you won't have any trouble releasing air out of this wing. Um, the wing actually has three dump valves, one on the back, on the inside. Um, they have an inflator and on the shoulder and this is different than the Aqualung Outlaw which didn't have a dump valve on the shoulder. Unlike most PCDs, the Hydros doesn't have any padding. It uses a monoprene gel harness. Um, this is actually kind of a kind of rubber. And although this sounds terrible and uncomfortable, it really isn't. Um, the rubber is really flexible and it feels very comfortable. The only thing on the back, the padding is also gone and you feel your tank during your dive on your back. It, it isn't that much uncomfortable, but you feel it and maybe if you dive like three, four dives a day, you get annoyed by it, but I didn't find it uncomfortable. Another thing which is different about this BC is that the um, that Scuba Pro actually implanted a BC for life system and this means that you can replace any part of the BC quite easily. Um, for instance, all the clips are not stitched on. They actually are easy to release and you can replace them quite easily. So they really went out of the way to make sure that you don't ever have to buy a new PC ever again. On the sides, you will find the main weight pockets. According to the specs given by Scuba Pro, you can fit 16 pounds each in them. And on the back there are weight, trim weight pockets and they can hold up to eight pounds each. Um, in in real world you actually get 12 pounds each in them and on the back like six pounds otherwise you have to cram that much weight in it and it wouldn't fit so realistically that's the maximum amount and it still brings you up to like 36 38 pounds which is really impressive another impressive feature is that you can remove the weight pocket um, you get a set of extra straps with it and you can put those into place of these ones and it makes your BCD a lot lighter and easier to carry along. You also get a bag with it and it fits in here and Scuba Pro claims there's still room for fins um, and a regulator, actually a whole diving kit. Um, it's possible because Scuba Pro has short fins which will fit in here, um, but that's really cool because this really makes your vest uh, usable in local waters and you can take it abroad. One thing we don't care for is the fact that you don't have quick release pockets. You have to unclip the buckle first and then you can pull it out which is an extra thing you need to do in case of an emergency and all the other brands seem to have made a system which one secures the pocket so you don't lose it and two gets quick release when there is an emergency and I don't see why Scuba Pro can do this. In the water, the Hydros is really great. You get pushed into the 
diving position quite easily thanks to the wing design. Um, also all the D-rings are in the right place and we're only missing two on top of here. It would be nice to secure your octopus right there and not on the lower one which might risk you running it through the sand. And you can also risk put it up here but we like to have it on this side. Um, other thing is the great inflator. We already saw on the Scuba Pro x Black we reviewed before and this is one of the best on the market. All the dump barrels are in the right place and easy to use. It's just a joy to dive with. There are quite a few optional features which you can buy separately later on. Um, like if you want a car cargo pocket on it, you have to buy it separately. If you want to put a knife on it, you have to buy the separate knife holder. If you want to put some double enders on it, you have to buy the D-ring holder. Um, all these things to me should be included. This is really expensive BCD and it's kind of a shame that you have to buy separate things with it. Um, they do include the straps to make it a travel BC and they include the bag which, which we showed before. Uh, maybe left, they should have left the bag out because everybody, most people have a diving bag and should have included all the other options. Um, that's just my opinion, let me know what you know what you think about it in the comments. What we don't like about the Hydros Pro is the fact that it has a hefty price tag, it's really expensive. Um, otherwise the um, main weight pockets are not quick released. And the last one we don't like is that there are a lot of optional things you can buy separately which we think should be included. What we do like about the Hydros Pro is the great build quality. Also the BC for life system makes it easy to replace broken parts. And the harness is sturdy but surprisingly comfortable. Furthermore, deflating the wing is really easy. Um, also we like the fact that you can remove the main weight pockets and it makes it easy to bring along on your travels. And we like the great inflator by Scuba Pro. So is the Hydros Pro worth a buy? Um, if you would like a BC which is a joy to dive. If you like a BC which you can use locally and abroad and you don't mind paying a bit more for a BC, then yes, this is probably the best buy you can do. Um, the BC for life system is great and it's really, you can really replace anything. So, so long Scuba Pro keeps making parts, you'll have a great BC to dive with.